This is our new IMS 1000. It is a it, it is meant to be a low cost alternative to the standard IMB show vault that Do Re Mi has had on the market for about five years. This will. It, it offers basically the same features and functions that our IMB does, meaning that it has a built-in scaler. It has three one terabyte drives of storage that is now on the board instead of in a separate box that would be stored in the rack. The drives, as you can tell, they're very easy to come out. The, that leads, that land, lends itself to talking about the low cost of ownership, the ease of uh, maintenance, and that all encompasses what this IMS 1000 was made to represent. The cost of ownership means that it's about $2,000 less than our standard IMB show vault, that's number one. It only weighs 10 pounds, so you're saving money on shipping. We're not shipping another box that weighs you know, almost 70 pounds. Also, the energy consumption is huge. It uses about 50% less energy consumption. When you're putting maybe 16 of these into a complex or even 12, it's a huge savings for a theater owner. And it's a real difference that they can see at the end of their year on their utility bills, obviously. Maintenance then, uh, scheduled maintenances become less because you're only, you only have one board to deal with instead of a, a separate device that's stored in, in your box. So your preventative maintenance can be lowered, again, thus saving, saving some money. Um, also, when it's, it will be bundled, it can be sold as a, as a bundle with the new 0.7 chip projectors from NEC and Barco. That again lends itself to a bundle price, saving the customers money. They're all in for one price. You're going to get your projector, you're going to get your IMS. And since we have a built-in scaler, you're also getting a scaler thrown into that price as well. Now I have Jose from Doremi, and thank you Beth for showing us this, uh, the, the unit, but another important development with the unit is a completely new interface, because we don't have a touch screen or screen on the computer anymore, so it's a new uh, web-based interface. So Jose's going to take us through that very quickly. It's a big new feature, and I think it's a good feature, so it's a lot faster interface, you can connect to it from anywhere on your network. So Jose will just do us a quick overview of the interface. So yes, it's a r brand new web GUI, it's a new interface for the IMS 1000. We are definitely excited on this web GUI. So right here we have our overview where we have two sections where we're actually monitoring the IMS. You have your playback section, your system section. Right here you got your status of your uh, hard drive RAID, your, your server settings, and your projector status. On the top it illustrates your electronic serial number, and the version of software that you're actually running. What's great about the screen is that it has hyper terminals all over the actual GUI. So if you notice here, we're actually playing back live. We're using a basic Internet Explorer browser just to access the IMS 1000. Just quickly, the, the, it's, it's all just web-based HTML5, so it'll work on any device such any web browser, so IE, Firefox, Chrome, and iPads, uh, mobile phones, iPhones, Android phones. That is correct. You could actually use Safari from your iPad or any Android device to actually access the I IMS 1000, and it works beautifully. Anyway, thank you for the overview of the interface. It's very functional and anyone who's used a, a, a Doromi before will easily basically follow through. It's very similar in function and feature. So thank you very much, Jose. And thank you very much, Doromi. This is James Gardner, the Sydney Tech Geek at CinemaCon 2013.